Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss Minnie. We're going to do now our Sunday uh, lesson. And we're in a new uh, month. And we're going to be studying about worshiping God. Worship, worshiping God. Okay. <clears throat> we will be thinking about uh, the church and the different ways churches uh, worship God uh, as they get together. Now, as we get together, we haven't been together in a long time, but <clears throat> um, we, we haven't been there in the room, in the classroom together, but we have been. I've been at your house almost every Sunday. Yeah, <laughs> in your TV, and you've been sitting there. And this family, these children are in this house, and these children are in this house, and these children are in this house, but we're together. So people worship God together. Okay, what do we mean by worship? Hmm? Ah. Well, worship is giving honor, respect, and uh, uh, praises, and um, in the to to God, and um, uh, in other words, we uh, show that uh, we love God and that. He is important to us, and that's how we show, the, and that's how we worship God, okay? So, that's uh, part of, the, uh, of what worship is. Um, worshiping is um, how we respond to God also. God shows himself to us through the uh, um, the ways he, he works in our lives. Then we respond to God with uh, thankfulness, praises, obedience, and worship. Okay, one of the purpose of the church is to worship God. There are many ways people in churches can worship. Now, in today's Bible story, someone worshiped by listening and learning from God. Listen and learn. Now, what is our... Um, a rule that we have in our classroom, if someone is talking, the rest of us listen. Okay, so that's what we're uh, talking about today. Now, that's, uh, if uh, you open your Bibles to First Samuel chapter 1, and that's where our story is. 1 Samuel chapter 1. Uh, there was a lady that went to the temple, the church, and uh, she she was just her and her husband. They'd been married, but they didn't have any children. So when she went to the church, to the temple, she started praying, Lord, I want a baby. Please give me a baby. If you give me a baby, I will, I will give him back to you, and he can serve you. So when he, she explained everything to God, and promised him that he would, that she would give her son or her baby. She didn't know whether she was going to have a son or a girl, uh, a daughter, um, but. Uh, and her name was Hannah. 
yeah and uh, she was happy that she had um told God what she wanted so guess what God gave her a baby and it was a boy yeah and his name was Samuel now remember she had promised God that she was going to give that child back to him and so when Samuel was oh maybe around five years old was I think so because that's when you all went to uh, pre-k and uh, or you were four or five years old and you went to pre-k old enough to get away from mom yeah so I think that's how about how old Samuel was and here's his mom and Samuel and she brought him to the temple and left him with the priest Eli. Uh -huh. And so Samuel lived in the temple, in the church, all the time. And uh, he helped uh, Eli at, in the church maybe to uh, clean up or uh, bring things to him and and do whatever Eli needed. And so he would help him out. And uh, he was there when they had services, and he learned to worship God. And um, so one night, Eli went to sleep, and all of a sudden, he hears this voice. Eli, uh, Samuel, Samuel, and he walks, wakes up, and he says, oh, Eli needs me. So he runs to Eli's uh, room and, and says, Eli, I'm here. What can I do for you? And Eli says, I didn't call you. Well, I thought you did. No, go back and go to bed. And so... In a little while, he went. He was trying to go to sleep when he heard the voice, Samuel, Samuel. Oh, it must be Eli. So he runs over there to Eli. Yes, sir, I I'm here. I didn't call you. And it happened another time. So it was about three times. And then Eli said, ah. It wasn't me calling you. It was God. So if you hear that voice again, answer him. Tell him, yes, God, here's your servant. And so Samuel went back to bed, and he was about to fall asleep when... Samuel, Samuel, oh, it's not Eli. Yes, God, here's your servant. I am your servant. What do you want? And God said, well, I want you uh, to, uh, I'm going to give you a message. You know, Eli's sons, have been doing some bad things and I'm going to punish them. I'm going to punish Eli and all his family. Oh, wow. So those are my plans. And so Samuel said, okay, Lord, I get your, your, your message. And so the Lord disappeared and Samuel went to sleep again and when he woke up it was morning and he went to have breakfast with Eli and to get his chores done and Eli, when he, Eli saw him he said Samuel, Samuel 
Did God call you again? Did he call you? Yes, Samuel said. Well, what did, what did God want to tell you? What did he say? Oh, um, 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 he really didn't want to tell him. Just, but there was a message from God. So he said, Eli, God told me that your sons have been doing bad things and he's going to punish you and all your family. Well, he told the truth. And so Eli went his way because he knew that that was what God had told Samuel. And he accepted it. So God uh, continued to give uh, his messages uh, for the people to Samuel. And God was with Samuel, and Samuel served God. And all of the people knew that Samuel was God's prophet. A prophet is one that gets a message from God and tells it to the people. And that's what Samuel became. And from then on, God would give him the messages that he had to give to people. Samuel learned how to uh, worship in the tabernacle from the time he was very little, because maybe five years old, four or five years old, and he learned how to worship then. And um, God told Samuel what his plan, what he planned to do. And so Sam, Samuel would tell the people what God had, was planning to do. So that was, and, and he had to what? To listen, to learn. Okay? Yes. Think about the times that, um, well, before you think, <laughs> let me just explain that uh, Jesus also uh, gave us many perfect examples for how to live, right? Or when he was around 12 years old, he went to, to the temple. And you know what? He wasn't playing. He was listening to the to the teachers. And he asked questions. And he answered questions. Because he was interesting. He was listening. Now, um, and as an adult, Jesus re read the, the scriptures. Remember the scrolls? the roles that, that they had as the Bible. And uh, he read that in the synagogue, which was the, the, uh, is the Jewish church. And he worshiped, worshiped in the temple. Jesus knew the importance of learning about and listening to God to learn about God and to listen to God. Because um, now I want you to think about the times that you uh, learn about God at church. Hmm. Think for a little while. Oh, listening to the pastor or other leaders? Praying together? Reading and studying the Bible, listening to your teachers as they teach the Bible. Hmm. Now, listening. Listening is more. Uh, well, let me let me just show you what listening is. Okay. 
Okay, I want you to tell to tell you a story, and I want you to listen to this story because I want you to learn a lot about things. Could you listen to that? You heard it, so we hear it, but sometimes we're not listening. And listening is to pay attention. And the teachers have to do it slowly so that you can learn and you can listen. And so when we listen, it's more than just hearing it, but also we respond. When we learn something, we do it, right? When you learn how to uh how to ride a bike. Did you just sit there and look at the bike? No, you got on the bike and you started going, right? You responded. And when we listen and we learn something, then we respond. We do something about it. And when we uh, listen to God, when we are, when the teacher is teaching something or you're reading it from the Bible, your parents are reading the Bible, or you're praying and you're listening, and then you do what you, what, what you learn from there. Because you see, when we listen, that's why when somebody's talking, the rest of us listen so we can learn. And then we can respond. We can do something when we learn. We do something. So uh, Samuel did that. And so that's what God wants us to do, to listen. But I better put it this way. Listen with your ear, but go to the mind and heart. Okay? And then we will do something. And so uh, we, we want to, to do that. We want to uh, listen, to learn something, and then respond, answer, do something. Okay? We need to be obedient to God's word. Samuel was obedient because Eli told him, next time you hear the voice, Answer, it's God. And you know, God will talk to you. How is he going to talk to you? Through reading the Bible, to listening to the Bible stories and the lessons and the preacher, wherever there's a chance to. And sometimes he'll just, in when you hear the, the birds, and, and and the Lord will will speak to you. Say, wow, those are beautiful uh, birds, and they sing so beautiful. Oh, God is so great, and we learn from the uh, from the birds. If they sing like that, I can sing like that too, and worship God. Okay. Now, our verse for today, and for the whole month. I hope we learn it. It says, and let's say it together. Well, I'm going to read it, and you can look at it. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. Psalm 95, 6. Okay, now repeat it. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. Psalm 95 6. Okay, if you didn't learn it, probably didn't. Some of you are very sh sharp and you probably already know it, uh, learned it. But look at uh, Psalm 95, 6 and learn it because we're going to be uh, 
learning it, trying to learn it all month long. And so um, I hope that we, we can learn that uh, verse because it tells us to come and let us bow down in worship, to bow down, to kneel. I, I cannot kneel, but I used to be able to kneel. And when I prayed, I would kneel down. I can't do it anymore. My knees don't hold me up. But anyway, but you can. And we and you know why we we bow our heads, we put them down, we close our eyes, so that we can just think about God and worship Him. Okay? Show Him how much we love Him and how important it is. He is to us. Okay, so that's worship. And I hope that we've learned how to worship God. Okay, now, I'm hoping to see you soon. Okay, I love you. I'm praying for you. Pray for me. And we will meet again. I'm going to go to your place where you have your TV <laughs> so you can watch me. Okay? God bless you. I love you. Bye-bye.